Class, class, what are you doing? Will you please stop making noise? Have your seat. Thank you. Viewers, welcome to today's second lesson in a five part series on biology. Our program today deals with biology laboratory rules. After watching this video, you should be able to, one, describe the requirements of a biology laboratory, two, demonstrate the understanding of the rules of conduct in a biology laboratory, <coughs> and three, identify and follow warnings on containers and apparatus used in a biology laboratory. A biology laboratory is a special room or building where biological experiments are carried out. For example, we can conduct experiments to check the presence of starch in cassava or the presence of oil in groundnuts. But we cannot just use any type of room or building for biology laboratory purposes. This facility should meet specific requirements. It should have a large enough windows to allow in air. It should have a big enough demonstration table. It should have entrance doors. It should have an office for the laboratory technician. It should have a store for keeping chemicals and apparatus. It should have adequate sinks for washing and rinsing. And it should have enough room to work with reliable supply of gas, electricity, and water. Please, let's now look at the rules to follow when using the biology laboratory. Rule number one, learners should never handle any chemicals or laboratory equipment without permission. Rule number two, never eat, drink, or test anything in the laboratory. Rule number three, do not play or run in the laboratory. Rule number four, put off any flames which are not in use for laboratory purposes. Rule number five, when chemicals or any substances get on your skin, rinse the skin immediately under running water to get the chemicals or substances off. Rule number six, always dispose of all used chemicals, specimens or substances in a safe manner in the dustbins. Rule number seven, Never smell substances, specimen, chemicals, or gases directly, but direct the fumes carefully towards you with your hand. Rule number eight, any accident involving chemicals or apparatus in the laboratory must be reported immediately to the teacher or instructor in charge. There are few more rules for correct behavior in the biology laboratory. Never block the sink and other waterways. And keep the floor and desks clean, dry, and tidy. Viewers, remember that in a biology laboratory, one often works with strong chemicals. These chemicals are extremely harmful to humans especially when swallowed, inhaled, or even when got onto your skin. The labels on these containers with chemicals 
tell us what they contain and warn us about what is harmful about those particular chemicals. These are also some apparatus which carry warning signs. The warnings can be corrosive, which means if such substances touch the skin, it can burn and destroy living tissue and other living material. Toxic, which means that the substance is poisonous and can cause death if inhaled, swallowed or absorbed through the skin of a human being. Flammable, these are substances that catch fire and explode easily, such as alcohol. Radioactive, which means substances or apparatus that continually emit harmful rays which cause damage to living human tissue. And biohazards, which means substances that contain microbes or other factors which could cause long-term disease. Let's sum up what we have learned today about the requirements of laboratories, rules for correct conduct in a biology laboratory, and the warnings on containers with chemicals as well as some laboratory apparatus. We said biology laboratories should have large enough windows to allow in air, a big demonstration table, entrance doors ensuring easy access and exit, an office for the laboratory technician to do his or her work, a store for safekeeping chemicals and apparatus, adequate sinks for washing and rinsing, and enough room to work with reliable supply of gas, electricity, and water for the laboratory. We also learned that there should be no playing or running in the laboratory. Never handle any chemicals or laboratory equipment without permission. Never eat, drink, or test anything in the laboratory. Don't even smell substances, specimen, chemicals, or gases directly, but direct the fumes carefully towards you with your hand. When chemicals or any substances get on your skin, rinse the skin immediately under running water to get the chemicals or substances off. Always dispose of used chemicals specimens or substances in a safe manner. Put off any burner flames which are not being used in the laboratory. Immediately report to the teacher or instructor in charge of any accident involving chemicals or apparatus in the laboratory. Never block the sink or other waterways and keep the floor and desks clean, dry, and tidy. Viewers, you should remember that we also learned that the following warnings often appear on the containers and apparatus that we use in the biology laboratory. The warnings can be corrosive, which means if such substances touch the skin, it can burn and destroy living tissue and other living material. Toxic, which means that the substance is poisonous and can cause death if inhaled, swallowed or absorbed through the skin of a human being. Flammable, these are substances that catch fire and explode easily, such as alcohol. Radioactive, which means substances or apparatus that continually emit harmful rays which cause damage to living human tissue. And biohazards, which means substances that contain microbes or other factors which could cause long-term disease. Oh, yeah, another day ago, right? Yeah. Ah, it was busy. It was busy nice. day. Yeah, it's nice. How about you? Ah, exhausted. <laughs> <laughs>
Yeah. Really? Yeah. Yeah, viewers, thanks for watching our lesson today. I know it will help you in your exams. The rules of conduct and the warning signs of substances and apparatus in laboratory are important to know. Until next time, take care. Bye bye. Education for everyone. Mama, Baba, Kaka, Dada. Mind from learning. Affordable. Affordable. Education anyway. You decide where you study. You decide when you study. Choose what you want to study. Prepare for better life. Make your work dream happen. Institute of Adult Education.